Hello and welcome to the show. Later on, we are going to be joined by Becky Dreyer, who has a lovely keychain to show us using the Forever Friends Craft Notes collection. But first, I just wanted to show you this card made by designer Jo Austin, and she's used some of the new urban stamps from Paper Mania, but in a really unique way. This is great. This she's is actually cool. used them with the, um, the felt and yeah. made like a template using Brilliant. the actual stamp design. Isn't that That's clever? Wonderful. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that before. That's wonderful. And you can find the details of this, this project in the current issue of Creativity magazine. Brilliant. So should we get Becky onto the yes, show now? Let's... Yeah. Come on, Becky. Hello. 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 Wow, this is a tiny one. Yes, this is small. Little tiny scrapbooking. Oh, oh wow. But it means you can take your kind of your brag book away with you on your keys. Yeah. And it's easy to find because it's nice and heavy in your bag so fantastic oh brilliant so. well i think katie's going to be doing this with you mm -hmm. so i'll Brilliant. just appear yes yeah, see you oh, later hey. right becky should we get started yeah definitely Good. all i'm using here is is basically this is an old gift card okay so we've probably got these Excellent. lying around all over the place we've all got those you can cut them to whatever size you want to, but okay. I've cut mine down and they're going to be cut down to five centimetres just by the width. Okay. okay. So just mark it out and then we'll just cut these off here. Fantastic. So make sure your scissors are nice and sharp. And we'll just pop that. So I'll just cut that one there. Lovely. Like so. So these are the base of your, your key ring. Yeah, this is the base because you need it to nice be and, nice, nice and, and sturdy. Firm. Good. Okay. Now, um, the next thing I've done here is I'm using the Ultimate Pack here are because these are great. They? You've got everything in it, but I did like the sheet. Reason being oh, is these clever. are just about the right size, okay? So, so you haven't got to cut into a whole sheet? And no, you can just cut out little it. sections Good. and that's it there. So as you can see here, I've already started um, to ink these edges here. Lovely. So I'm going to work on this bit of paper as I'm backing and build up and then we'll stick it okay. onto the back here. So again, you just layer up your pieces of paper here, okay? Um, again, I've just inked all the edges and put them down here. Now this piece here, this was actually cut from the, oh, the yeah. border sheet here. Can you see? I've just you get some it. great bits and pieces yeah. in those packs, don't Brilliant. you? Brilliant. And you know, just cut them down to size as you, as you want and they'll just stick on. Okay, so I'll just pop this here. It's so cute. It's literally like a tiny little scrapbook yeah, page. That's it, yeah. Now I've got these are little oh. little tiny prints here. Most of your computer uh, photo packaging can take them down. This would be yep. what you call an index print. Yeah. Okay, so just print them that small and then that will help them, you know, giving you this nice size so here. so cute. Whereas you can see on this one, I just used the tags that are in the die cutting yeah, sheet there. Yeah, one of the friends guys. Yeah, so you can mix and match it all in there. And then we'll just stick that one. you just got to remember that at the top, you're going to be putting a hole through. So oh, don't, so just make you, sure everything's a bit yeah, further down. Yeah, if you don't, if you can have a picture of somebody's face there, just be careful. Don't want to okay? eye it through it, no. do we? <laughs> um, these here, just again, I just cut from the paper. So you can see there's lovely little flowers lovely. and hearts there. So just cut them out. That's and great. there's also buttons that are in the, the sheets, the decoupage Brilliant. sheets. So you there. get the effect of an embellishment without the, the depth. Yeah, that's it. And that's something you want because um, obviously if that's lying in your bag, um, you don't want this catching no. everything and not, you know, getting stuck everywhere. Don't be afraid to hang things over the side as well because we can trim these oh, off of afterwards. Okay, so just add these on on the uh, page, your mini page. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just write, you know, like here, like this little name across here. Oh, yeah. So what I've used is the vintage notes. Um, it's a little rub on alphabet like this. As you can see, I've already cut out. I tend to cut out which piece I want rather yeah. than trying to sit there rubbing. Because sometimes you can like rub that. the next door one, can't oh, you, yeah, by mistake? Exactly. You don't want that. So just cut them out. So I've cut them out here. And I'm literally just going to pop this. It doesn't matter if it's not straight or anything. I'm just going to pop it on. it on and then just rub it. And these go with so many collections, don't they? As you said, these are the vintage notes, but they'll go oh, yeah. with your they'll capsule go. or with this, uh, yeah. the craft notes. Definitely. They're, they're, they're really versatile. And then to finish it off here now, we're just going to pop it a lot of glue. Now, what I tend to do is just rub my fingers around here yeah. just to make sure. And then we'll stick the edges. That. Because you don't want it curling. 
No. Back off. No, of course not. Okay. Oh, that looks fantastic. And then you just repeat the same on the back yep. with a piece of paper. So that okay. you've done with the yes, ones. You've got that's your it. lovely children. Yep. Something a little bit more plain on the back there. Yeah, that's it. You, but you could do anything. You, you have another picture do, on the back, definitely, either, didn't you? Yeah. That looks great. So you can see I've just trimmed off the edge there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is obviously if I took that outside and got wet, yep. it would run. It's all going to you know, come get apart, soggy. Isn't it? So what I've done here is I've done three parts glue to one part water okay, yeah. and it's just making a little varnish, okay? And what you're just going to do is just pop that all over, it all over. the top here. And you don't, you get a nice sort of secure, uh, nice strong glaze, don't you? Yes. It's not too shiny, it's no. not that sort of high, it's a bit matte, high gloss. Matte it looks look, yeah. But you can see that's done there now and then we'll just leave that to dry. So while that's drying, I just want to show you these little buttons here. These are the capsule collection buttons and all I've literally done, as you can see here, I've already threaded on six of the littler buttons. Oh, I see. Choose a different, you know, different um, yeah. sizes. Thread them on your wire and then I've just given it a small twist here just to hold it into place. Excellent. And then I've taken one of these, these are the lobster claws. Yeah, okay. These are just your, our standard jewellery findings, aren't yep, they? Yeah, definitely. So if, you, if you're already a jewellery maker, you'll have these to hand. Put that one on there. Fantastic. And then just bend it round there, keeping it. And then I just wound this round. Oh, that's round. good. That's, okay. that's really nothing, simple. Again, no, nothing, no tricky fastenings no, or anything. No, no. And the good thing is, is that you can hide everything with a, with a little bow, as oh, you can I see. see. You've added a little bit of ribbon yeah. there. So you just trim that off and then it, it would be like that. I see? guess you could make, um, we, these would be great, but you could also make a, a bigger one maybe as a back charm. Oh that yeah, would be definitely, idea. definitely. And then just to finish it off, you see what you would do, as you can see here, I'd punch my hole in, I'll just use the cropper doll mm -hmm. here, just punch a hole in the top here. Um, and you can either put an eyelet in, on, or you could use the all aboard. We've got those lovely little oh yeah, definitely paper, little washers yeah. yeah there, so you could use that. If you're doing that, then just literally tie it together, like so. This is just some chain from chain. the cousins range. Add it on there, and then fantastic. There you have it. So, oh, that's so simple. So, what yeah, brilliant so project. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing us that. That's okay. If you make any anything using the Forever Friends Craft Notes collection, or again, anything using jewellery items, maybe in a slightly different way, do drop us a line to tv at docrafts.com and we may even feature your project on a future, issue, uh, future episode of the show. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much, Becky, for That's showing okay. us your project, and happy crafting.